This is a large part of how I'm able to do what I do without like running tons of ads on the channel. And afford food for myself and my cats and places to live and things like that. So here we go. Uh, this is an online card game. My understanding is that it has a challenging single player mode as well as PvP. I haven't actually played it, so we're gonna go through the tutorial together here and find out. I looked at basically this much plus the next screen. This is the beginner friendly starter, second most beginner friendly starter, and the hardest starter. Strong attacks and cards that can hit wide areas. Use chimeras and a meteor for the finish. It says mobility, range attacks, and board movement. That one sounds fun. Maybe we'll do this one. Strong healing, consistent mana generation, and decent mobility. Let's do movement. Select. The goal in every game of Dark Duel is to take out the opponent's king. Each player starts with a deck of 20 to 30 cards, and their kings on opposing sides of the board. You will not be playing an actual match in this tutorial. We will just go through the basic gameplay and the interface. Please do exactly as the tutorial says. Press escape or the next button to continue. You move a card, drag and drop it onto one of the highlighted tiles. You see when hovering over said card. All right. When a card can move is determined by its move statistic, where a card can move, it appears on the left side of the screen after clicking on or hovering over the card. Move statistic. Anybody see the move statistic? Is it jump? A card can only move once per turn. Cards that move are faded. You can move any and all of your cards during your turn. Move the card placed on the board. Jump is the move statistic, sure. The card was placed in your hand, the bottom right. Once per turn, you may play a card from your hand. Play a card, you must drag and drop it next to your king. Uh, kings are denoted by gold borders. Taurus dragon is your king in this tutorial. Drag the skeleton card and drop it on the adjacent tile to the dragon. Note that you may move a card immediately after it is played. Your hand side is infinite and fully scrollable. Ooh. Attacks. To attack a card, drag and drop one of your cards onto the target card. Attack the Inferno with your skeleton. Damage dealt is the attack of the skeleton. The skeleton has attack power 6. The Inferno has HP 25. Simple enough. If the card attacks without lowering its target's HP to 0, the card takes the last square in its movement path before the target. Now attack with a dragon. But it can't because the skeleton's in the way. How does that work? Oh, but it killed it. I see. The dragon landed its attack and killed the demon, taking its place. Note that you may attack your own cards. Okay. The cards are differentiated from the opponents by their HP circles on the board. You will have a purple circle, the enemy will have a maroon circle. Press escape. Okay. Many cards have abilities that give unique advantages. The Stardust Regent card on the board can attack cards at a distance. Click on it to lock the left side of the screen as the Stardust Regent card. Click the Shoot button that appears when hovering over the card, or the purple Shoot text on the Regent card, then click the Inferno card to attack. Cool. Once a card activates an effect, it cannot move or activate again. Some effects require just a single click. Others have a more complex activation detailed in their descriptions. You can exit an effect activation or locked card by pressing escape. Some cards have their abilities displayed off card for convenience. The Nebuale card on the board. Click in and then hover over the icon symbols on the card to read its abilities. Press the next button. Click the Nebuale. It has attack and gravity splash. Oh, the tutorial text is in the way. Knock so all adjacent cards back one tile on movement and when it moves it knocks everything back okay and this knocks target back one square unless it is on an edge rooted or has a card behind it i wonder what happens if you knock cards into other cards you don't have to read that part but i did 
<laughs> also note the icons on the left side of the Nephi Whale card. These indicate what types of card has. Certain abilities only work on certain types, and you can read what types of card has from the tooltips of these icons by hovering over them. So this is a... Why is this not working when I hover? This is the right thing, right? Abilities only work on certain types, and you can read what types of card has from the tooltips of these icons by hovering over them. Maybe because we're in this interface. I don't know. There it goes. Amphibious type and astral type. Also, I've just realized you don't see the... Um, I'm not capturing this part of my browser window, am I? Well, it says amphibious type and astral type when I mouse over it. Trigger effects. Some effects are triggered by events rather than player action. The Soul Collector card will give you 7 mana when another card dies. Attack the skeleton with your dragon. Okay. So this is my dragon. This is the skeleton. And it has the Soul Collector... Ooh, it deals 5 more damage on Wasteland Terrain. It has Undying type. Is there a uh, encyclopedia or wiki somewhere where people who are watching could read up on all the cards if they want to look up stuff while we're playing? Mr. Pidgey Claw, thanks for 33 months. You have 7 mana. Play the Spirit Warrior from your hand next to the dragon. Note its cost is 7, so you'll have 0 mana after it's played. Right? Remember, you can only play one card per turn. Terrain. The strains impact battle stats and card health. Some cards have terrain bonuses, which will be located on the middle left of the card, underneath the type icons. Your skeleton has a wasteland bonus, the brown tile on the left of the card. Protect the inferno with your skeleton. So this says wasteland bonus, and it is undying. This is a demon. Wasteland bonus is plus 5 damage on Wasteland terrain, so it deals 11 instead of 6. Notice that the attack did 5 extra damage because of Wasteland terrain. Terrains boost attack by 5 for a card with the correct bonuses. The tile where the attack lands determines the bonus, not the tile that the card started on. Sure. Yes. Crystal gives unique bonus to all cards. Plus 5 defense against each incoming attack. Which one's crystal? The central squares? Continuous effects. Yes. That's crystal. This one is... Oh, interesting. Only the crystal mouse over. Okay. Some cards have continuous effects that activate each turn change. The garden card will give you five mana each turn change. Click and turn. So this is my garden. Ephemeral garden. Every turn get mana. Every time the turn changes, you get five mana. So you have another 5 mana. After your turn change, the opponent gets to move before your next turn. The game ends when one player's king is eliminated. Okay. Time to play. King. I get to choose who my king is. Currently, it's Deep Space Warrior. My cards are Nebulous which is a zero cost, 22 HP creature. With attack power three, attacks all adjacent cards, recovers one HP per turn. Luminary, zero cost, seven HP. On attack, it knocks target back one square, unless it's on edge root or has a card behind it, that card can't move this turn. But it doesn't actually deal damage. Does it? Doesn't look like it deals damage. This is astral type, astral type. Emerald Garden is plant type, gets mana and self damage, loses 2 HP each turn. Exchange. Send one of your own cards to the grave for 33 mana by dragging this card from the hand over the card you own on the field. It's a lot of mana. What do I spend my mana on? Oh, Deep Space Warrior and Stardust Regent. Seance, zero cost spell, play this card in an empty tile surrounded by adjacent cards, you get six times that number of mana. Those cards can be owned by either player. 
wall. So the geography of the piece layout of the board is affecting my matter generation. This regions two. Every turn, attacks for 16, and then this is my range unit. Attack any card at distance two or less does 19 damage. All right, let's play a game. Hold my mouse without moving it for a second. I'm not sure where you wanted me to do that. Single player, pick an opponent, change the challenges, refresh daily, fight the following decks for 350 coins each. I want to open a pack. How will I, hold on, do I have currency to open a pack right now? That'll be kind of fun. Uh-oh. Only if I pay via PayPal, which I'm not going to do on stream. I do start with 10,000 coins though. That's pretty generous. Oh, that's like extremely generous. So I could buy 50 packs to start. And there's a subscription model as well. Okay. Uh, single player. Fight. Ooh. I have a thousand seconds. Is that for one turn or for the entire game? So this is my king, which I guess I start with. And which I guess can... Wait, hold on. Straight line five. Oh, I can't move to where they are. This is cross three. Let's go like here and make a garden for some mana. How did you code the AI for this? So things are allowed to move the turn I play them. The all cards with insect or plant type by four that are within the square of width five tiles centered at this card. So my stuff can move diagonally and their stuff can't move diagonally. What's the range on this? It's full diagonal? Huh? Oh no. I'm not catching the entire window. Well, I'm catching the entire window. I'm just not catching the uh, the layered pop-ups on it, which is generally how I approach browser stuff. Because the layered stuff is not necessarily something I want everyone to be able to see. Is it good to get them all stuck on the side of the board? I don't know. Omni slash, three damage to everything. What if I like went there and then did this and oh you're allowed to attack I forgot I can attack my own pieces right if I click this and then do it oh I think I already attacked so I can't use the ability And this is already moved, so it can't move again. What's the... They're greying out after they move, huh? This is rooted, so it can't move. I already played a piece. 
All right, so that would be my turn. There are two enemy bosses, but only one of them is the king. The garden is self-damaging. Every turn, my garden uh, gains five mana and deals itself two damage. is on crystal. Oh, I didn't consider the board layout. The board layout's different every time. It's a click drag. So if I tried using Omni Slash this time, I have used Omni Slash. An empty tile? Discarding any empty tile. I have a lot less health than I used to have. <laughs> oh dear. Whoa! They attacked twice? I should read their card. I should read their card. I should probably have read their card before I got attacked twice and died. I thought that was the deck that I just fought. Used a spell, so it was like a spell named Swift. Gotcha. Oop, I don't want to press the back button on my browser, huh? <laughs> Ultra completed false. Invasion completed false. Storm King completed false. We have level 1, 2, 3. Storm King. Where's Ultra? Okay. Let's, uh... I, I could get 50 packs, and there are five different types. Four different types. Let's just open 12 of each. Deep Sea Devil. How do I tell the rarity of a card? Oh, it's the gem in the bottom, huh? Shade, Lava, Golem, Wreath, Blade, Giant, Hornet, Deep Sea Devil. It is always aquatic. I just clicked on this. I get it. <laughs> Also, how do I tell... There's no... Like, any deck can have any card in it, is that correct? Demon type. Any deck can have any card in it, okay. I, is there an open all button? Let's make some sort of duck. <sighs> Anubis Acolyte. Can we like search for mana? I guess everything. Five mana each time a spell is played on Oasis. Get ten mana if played on Oasis. Get five mana for every dragon this card is played next to you. Get ten mana if played on Scorched. 
Okay, so the one drops give mana. Just a general idea. Oh, I could just click mana. Understood. <laughs> is, it, is it randomizing which order they're in every time? That's... Or are there two pages? It's not randomizing, is it? It's going between two different ones. I'm confused. Do I think I would go mad if I played the same seed 100 times? I might already be mad. Oh, is it a toggle? I'm toggling it on and off. Okay, worked it out. I can't work out how to... Is there a scroll bar somewhere that I'm not seeing? Ah, it's pages. So this is my collection. Okay. Oasis. If your king is a demon, heal it by 19 and give your opponent two devil's shadows next to their king. I wonder what devil's shadow is. If you're not two tiles free, then this card does not activate. If you have three cards on different tiles, get 27 mana. So it feels like, to me, a thing I would like to be able to do. Play on your king if it is not moved or activated an ability yet. Get 10 mana and damage all adjacent cards by 10. I'm going to assume that one's good. I would like to be able to generate mana and play a big threat. We're just going to like... We're going to start with the very small steps. Um, let's try to successfully make enough mana to play something. I have not played Graveyard Keeper. Sand seemed powerful, but I was not smart enough to use it well. Zeal. Five mana for every dragon this card is played next to you. I have target occupied by one of your cards on Scorched. It goes to the grave, you gain 40 mana and 8 damage is dealt to surrounding cards. Five mana each time a spell is played on Oasis. I've been told that Ephemeral Garden is strong. What do you do with the extra cards? Like, I have more than three Ephemeral Gardens. What is the... What will what, what, what I do with my extra four? Change one of your card's movement base attacks to harvest. Ten mana. And increase it by three. Target now takes two more damage per turn change. This card is sent to the grave after you. <laughs> okay. I'm going to understand what this does. Change one of your card's movement based attacks. To harvest 10 mana and increase it by 3. Harvest 10 mana. Does that mean that it gains me 10 mana when I use it? The target now takes 2 more damage per turn change. But it takes 2 more damage every time it takes damage, or 2 damage every turn? Crafting is a planned feature, gotcha. When it kills, you get 10 mana. Oh, that's what harvest is, okay. One of your own cards to the grave for 33 mana by dragging this card. Okay. Okay. Every time a spell is played next to or on this card, gain 5 mana. Ooh, that's fun. Flame Goddess Idol. When a card dies on Scorched Turf, you get 10 mana. If one of your insects side jump movement unless it's rooted and get 5 mana. And one of your cards movement based attacks to harvest 10 mana. This card is sent to the grave after use. So these are similar, but this one increases by three every time. It's five mana shards across the board in random tiles. Whoever kills a shard gains five mana. That's kind of interesting. King me. <laughs> I probably don't want a three HP Kang, huh? Who's the coolest Kang? Hold on. 
Let's look for the coolest king real quick. Sort by HP. Holy shit. Volcano. Erupt. Change tiles within the square of width. Five tile center of this card to score shrine. Holy shit. We're making a volcano deck. Volcano. King. King Volcano. Let's look for stuff that interacts with Scorched Terrain. Volcano is a bad king. Well, we'll find that out soon. <laughs> so this red, orange, orange square is Scorched. Changes Terrain to Scorched. Have to play 20 cards. Shoot terrain. Terrain painter. What? I believe that card paints terrain. That seems to be what it does. Do 15 damage to all cards on scorched terrain. Wait a second. <laughs> wait, a, wait a second. I'm not sure that's what I want. Well, let's try it. Boost all your plants' movement attacks by two and give them a bonus on scorched. Do I have any plants? Play on a tile occupied by one of your cards on scorched. It goes to the grave. You gain 40 mana. So I can make lots of mana, maybe. Igneous. Arden Scorch. Fire Flower Hydra. I only have one Burning Sacrifice, though. Uh-oh. -uh. I'm going to need more mana. Wait, these are sweet. Straight line two. When a card dies on Scorched Turf, you get 10 mana. Rooted. Shoot terrain. I may need that to make mana. All right, what is the coolest remaining card that is not in the stack? I should probably make something that makes mana, huh? It's 50 mana to the player that kills this card. Wait. All right. Almost 0% chance of this deck. Oh, I've called it mana. I didn't realize that was its name. Friend Volcano. I, I seem to have called it Fried Volcano. So Friend Volcano. All right. Grudge match. At least six mana generation is recommended. Oh, this is rooted. <laughs> Like it makes it worse. Oh, no, it's walked straight into me. That fool. You fool. I sound surprised that the volcano can't walk around. I mean, obviously. <laughs> Are you not surprised? <laughs> I 
we win these. Wait a second, it's not on Scorched anymore. Hold on. You know, it was a close fight, I will forfeit. <laughs> All right, what's the second coolest king to have? <laughs> Attack any adjacent card, changes the target turn to crystal and does 20 damage. Shenlong Storm changes adjacent turn to ocean, does 20 damage. Lots of dragons. I kind of liked my Volcano deck, to be honest. I feel like there was potential there. Mantis Empress, Insect Portal. You can play any insect from the hand by this card. Does that mean I can play lots of insects in the same turn? Let's look at our insect deck. What's our insect deck like? Great Oak Spider. Giant Scorpion. Hive. Spawn Giant Hornet on adjacent square. The Hornet can't move this. Ooh. Cocoon. Countdown. After four turns, changes the insect from your deck. The highest cost. Displayed on this card tile. Tornado. Rotates adjacent cards by two tiles clockwise. Skips edges of the board and reads cards. Deals 10 damage. What is this? Ew. Ew. Gross. Eight mana gain cards. Hold up. Why do I want... Zero cost insects. Is there a reason? I'm sure there is. I'm sure there's some reason. Parasite spawns wasps on kills. Cost of the target divided by 10 plus 1. Up to open tiles are spawned. How does it attack? Spawns wasps on kills. Can't even attack though, it has no attack. I could king my Parasitic Wasp. I would have to give it an attack. I would have to give it... You play an insect next to a non-king Mantis with its ability. Oh, so if I didn't have Mantis kinged, I understand. All right, I'll make the spider the king then. After this, I'm just building an aggro deck. Kill all cards with insect or plant type by four that are within the square of, well, that's probably a good one. Drag and drop from hand over an insect card you own to summon two of the same cards from your deck and or hand. I don't think I, that doesn't really work because I don't have enough multiples. Deck must have a name. Winsect. Oh, I deleted my uh, wonderful volcano deck. Whoops. Oh, we're the same. We're the same. <laughs> um, wait, does this heal friends and enemies? Heal all cards with insect or plant type by four. It would heal me as well, I think.
Untitled Mansa stack. <laughs> yeah, something like that. I don't know why they put their thing that heals in the way. That seems like the wrong place to put it. Okay. What if I just kept on making gardens and we could just look at each other then? That's fine. Oh my god, you have so many of those. That's too many. Where are my spells? What do I... So I'm drawing a lot more cards than I can actually play each turn, is a thing that I have noticed. Why has this swift... Ow! Stop it! What the hell? I think I'm only allowed to play one card a turn. <laughs> I have to learn. I have to learn how to play more than one card a turn. They have too many of these. Great Monarch. It's too powerful. What does that one do? Give an insect card, defense one, and bonus on Oasis, and 10 mana. I receive 10 mana from my big creatures. I remember having big creatures. Spawn giant horn on an adjacent square. It's time. Bzz. All right. It's okay. I'll hide in the corner. Swift seems kind of broken. My garden is gone. Um... You can straight up clone your king, apparently. What was that move? I don't know what move that was. <laughs> but I'm not a fan. What does this do? Shoot. Deals one damage? That's not very much. Uh, undo? There's no undo button, huh? Whoops. Because I think I want to put a giant scorpion. There. Now we sort of have this surrounded. A little bit. That have poison? Nope. Oh, did this shoot it? But it deals more damage to things on grass. Gotcha.
Hey, cat. You're here. Hello. <laughs> All right. For defeating the crab mirror, I get by the following decks for 350 coins each. Did I get did I get 350 coins? I did. So now I can buy another two pack. Should probably be looking at what cards I get <sighs> at some point. It makes sense to do that. This reminds me of Chandelar. Like, <laughs> which is weird because it's not Magic the Gathering. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's not single player. <laughs> it doesn't have an overworld map. There's just something. There's something very enjoyable about playing game where you start with a deck and then you fight things and then you get more packs of cards when you defeat the things. What was the there was like a Pokemon trading card game for Game Boy that did that as well. Let's make an aggro deck. Actually I just want to look through the cards and find the ones that are broken. I feel like the spells are broken. All seeing eye, see opponent's hand. Five mana shards across the board. Whoever kills a shard gets five mana. Dragon drop from your hand over an insect card you own to summon two of the same card from your deck. 13 damage to a target on crystal. Do seven damage to every enemy next to a mage you control. Stacks of a card is next to multiple mages. Mage deck ones. Swap two cards on the board with cost less than 30. Drag this card onto the first target and then click the second target to activate. Give Ravenous 8 to a card you own. The card will die when you run out of mana. Increase its movement attack by 1 and HP by 6. I'm going to guess that Ravenous 8 means it eats 8 mana every turn, but I'm not sure. Move an Astral to an empty adjacent tile. Play directly to the target and then click an adjacent tile. Do 15 damage to all cards on Scorched Terrain. Play on a card on Crystal, it gets plus one defense and you get 10 mana. Is that strong? That might be strong. Give an insect card, defense one, and bonus on Oasis, and you get 10 mana. That's also probably strong. The thing I couldn't work out is like I draw so many cards every turn, but I can only play one card a turn. So what do I do with all of the stuff on my hand? I don't get it. Do 15 damage to all cards on ocean terrain that are not amphibious or aquatic. Tidal wave is sent to the grave after use. I'm not sure what the difference is with the grave. Perhaps usually stuff just gets shuffled back in your deck. I don't know. Play directly on a card on a swamp tile from the hand. Card cannot move or use abilities until two turn changes later, starting next turn. I'll just send to the grave after use. Can you just say until three turn changes later? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe there's a reason why it has to start next turn. Play directly on a card from the hand. That card cannot attack with movement until four turn changes later. So this is like CC stuff. Explosion! Drag on to a demon owned by the opponent. If you have more demons on your side, it will become yours. <laughs> okay, that's fun. That's fun. Abyss, play all shades from your deck. They cannot move this turn. But this cost is zero. Wait, how do I put shades in my deck? Warp. Put your king on the tile that this card is played on. Can only be played next to your king or next to a portal. Swamp. Turns everything into a swamp.
Add demon to a card's types by dragging this card from the hand. Okay. So first, betrayal. Well, no, first possession, then betrayal. I understand. Gives a mage shooting ability with 20 attack. The shoot can be activated on any tile that is on a zigzag path from the caster. Pulse lightning is sent to the grave after use. Okay. Exile cards within distance 2 and does 8 damage. That seems... I don't quite understand the cost of things. The mana economy of the game is strange. Play on a card. That card is moved one tile away from the opposing king each turn change. Excludes rooted cards. That's on stack with other move, continuous effects, or itself. Alpha Dragon. If your king is a dragon, subtract 20 HP from all dragons you own and heal your king by 10 for each. Okay. Play all illusionists from your deck. They cannot move this turn. I don't... I don't understand. How many illusionists are there? Spawn a card that will take on your king's appearance on the opponent's screen? That card in your king may swap places? <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh... Disaster? How many shades are there? Revive all. When played from hand or resurrected, all shades are revived. Okay, that's less exciting than what my illusionists do. Uh, where was I? I was reading the spells I was up to. Here-ish. Sand Warp. Play this card on an empty oasis tile. Your king will move there. It cannot move after. Meteor. Text all cards on the board. Does 27 damage. It changes all tiles to wasteland. Yo! It costs 69. <laughs> All right, Meteor deck. It's kind of strong. Sand warping your fried volcano around sounds fun. Oh my gosh. Wait a second. What if I actually do build a volcano deck? <laughs> I said I was going to build an aggro deck, right? That's what I said. Change one of your card's movement to side jump. The mage, the magic push ability, can push cards at a distance to a tile away and does 4 damage. Change all tiles within the square of width 5 tiles centered at this card to ocean terrain. Gel tiles, change everything to crystal. If your king is a dragon, it loses 17 HP and a random dragon is summoned from your hand. Yes, that's what I want, probably. Exchange is kind of broken. It's a lot of mana. And a card you own with jump, side jump, or dual zigzag. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> these are the uh, the three acts of Celeste. Um, and then click an adjacent tile or move in that direction until it hits a non oasis or occupy tile. Deep freeze a card on an ocean tile cannot move or use abilities for two turns. Kill all your cards except your king. Wait a second. Doesn't sound incredible. Uh, da, 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 da. Infestation did seem really strong. Like, really strong. All cards have cost less than 10 on Wasteland. 
If your king is a demon, heal it. And give your opponent two devil's shadows next to their king. I don't know what devil's shadow is. Three cards on different tiles, 27 mana. Kill all cards of cost less than 10 on Oasis. Find your king if it has not moved yet. Get 10 mana and damage all adjacent cards by 10. Let's build a dragon deck with scale ritual and shockwave. And gardens and dragons. Yes, I'm not sure what what exactly it means that a card is sent to graveyard after use versus not sent to graveyard after use. Attack, charm, mana, shoot. That means dragon, that thing, I think. Shoot terrain. I just need the one with the most health, presumably. Each time someone plays a dragon or summons one with a spell, this card gains a plus one attack. Yo, that costs zero? That's not a dragon. Is that a dragon? That doesn't look like a dragon. Dragon egg? Oh ho 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 ho! King me, King of the Dragon Egg. Dragon drop from your hand over an insect card you want to summon two of the same cards from your deck. That isn't a dragon either. Oh, I, it, I, oh, it has a dragon in it. I, okay, <laughs> that's, that's on me. Um, that's on me. Oh, you're allowed three other ones. Dragon D's. I deleted my insect deck again. All right. Next deck to fight. Lava, level one. They, I was told that the Volcano King wasn't good. I, I was told the Volcano King wasn't good. You're allowed to have more cards in your deck than the minimum. It's a max of 30. Why do I have 20 mana? Did I start with 15? Maybe I started with 15. What do these do? When a card on Scorch Turf dies, you get 10 mana. All right. Well, I'm just going to stay over here and make a bunch of dragons, I think. So, what if I played more cards? <laughs> Doesn't work. Whoever goes second gets 15 mana. Gotcha. <laughs> but just, oh no, that's a lot of wasteland. Should I be concerned? So now this has attack power 5. 
Wait a second, is this a dragon? This isn't a dragon though. Well, whatever. Sunset Samurai is here. Cosmos Dragon, shoot terrain, attack any adjacent card. It is the target's terrain to crystal and does 20 damage. Oh, this is a dragon now. Charm. I don't know what that does. Mana. I don't know what that does either. Shoot. That one's like somewhat straightforward, but I don't know what it does. Mana. I think I made three mana by doing that. Maybe. Looks like I can do one of those per turn and then also move. Maybe. Maybe I can't move. And I can't do that and I can't do that. I can do that though. Or the circle of street ability. I control an adjacent card. Yo! Five mana and kill, 22 damage. Get three mana. Deck any card on a jump path, does 16 damage. Its movement is straight line two. Okay. Does this, in fact, do that? Okay, I don't understand what Chalkwave does. I guess it's a lot worse than what I thought it was. I play it next to King. Okay. Is there a way to tell? Or does it say... The highlights. Oh, gotcha. It feels like the stuff that you played this turn is the most dangerous, because otherwise everything can get away from you. Oh, that's my own piece now. They're going to have so much mana, though. Maybe I'll explode. Somewhere I have a thing that makes a new dragon. Zigzag, change movement. Oh, cool. Currently it zigzags. Does this deal more damage on Wasteland? Oh, that is bad news for my opponent who has decided to spend all of their energy turning everything into Wasteland. <laughs> that may have killed my own unit a little bit.
This should win now, I think. Volcano is actually the best king I was deceived. Why am I not surprised? That has cost 15. Can I charm it? I can charm it. Oh, brutal. Oh, brutal. Maybe I shouldn't have made that crystal at the start of the turn since making it crystal. It means I don't deal damage to the thing on it anymore. Uh, oh, I had lethal because I can jump attack. All right, GG. Did I get packs for that? Where are my coins? Pick an opponent, challenges, refresh, daily, fight the following decks for 350 coins each. And I get coins. What has happened? I want my pack. Why are some monsters a single? Is this a dating sim? Arguably everything is a dating sim. Network glitch ate the coins. Maybe I won too convincingly. Maybe it's like, Jorbs doesn't need the coins. What is tower mode? The goal of each tower is to beat five decks in a row. You win 2,000 coins, 10 packs on each of the five towers first completion. If you lose, you must start the tower all over. I'm ready. Oh my gosh. It's... It's two times in a row that I've fought against Volcano as the king. Um, Lava isn't in the challenge. You have to fight the desk decks listed. Oh, okay. Gotcha. It does make sense. I feel like that other dragon was better. The one with charm. Minesweeper is best at dating as I'm ever made. I don't know, DDLC is pretty good. I'm good to just chill. I cannot imagine that the thing that you make is stronger than the thing that I make, so. Use a dream drink to hit king. Hit my own king? I don't want to hit my own king. Tech double yeah. Hey, Truskies! Did they just attack their own thing? Oh, to make mana. Presumably, anyway.
Which one should I make? This is going to make the highest cost from my deck. have so many options. I would like something with like ranged attack. Maybe, maybe I'm not going to get something with ranged attack right now. It's fine. Oh, I can move it when I play it. I forgot. It's fine. Will my book be available for purchase as an ebook? Uh, yeah, I believe it will. My mana six, their mana fifty five. Does that mean I'm winning or losing? I believe that means I'm winning. Uh let's go here. I guess I'll let them actually hit me. Any more turns? Zero? Sounds right. Wait, what? Do I not have any dragons left in my deck? Is that my issue? Maybe I don't have any dragons left in my deck. Oh, no. It's become a dragon. Wait, it didn't become a dragon, it just disappeared. Hello? <laughs> that was not the goal. Hey, Draco Bob. I can't attack like that, huh? Or can I? Don't know. Well, I guess I need to work out some way to make a bunch of dragons, because my dragon eggs aren't making dragons. How have I been? I've been doing well. What is this game? We're playing card chess with dragons and insects and demons. Yeah, it has like a lot to think about here, doesn't it? A lot of stuff. Did it break? Why didn't it attack me? Maybe it's too much stuff. Feels like it's trying to chase my king around. Chess Magic the Gathering. Are we all of those or just one faction? This deck is primarily, maybe only, dragons.
Attack a card in a zigzag path up to length of 5 for 20 damage. Boom, 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 boom. Wait, what is this? This looks potentially scary. Dragon Slayer! <laughs> that's, that's not what I want to be fighting against. That's the exact opposite of what I want to be fighting against. Huh? How is this not in a zigzag path up to length 5? Oh, I see. I get it. Fair enough. Alright, we'll just chill. Norkem, thank you very much for the 10 gifted subs. I appreciate it very much. They're so tricky. Anything else to make? I've kind of run out of cards. I wonder if there's anything that interacts with the graveyard. That would be a good thing to search for next time. Uh, how am I going to make more Dragons. I guess I'm going to use these. Okay, that's fine. I have to play it there, I guess. Uh, all right, they're super dad. Maybe this game's more about controlling space than I realized. I thought it was summoning the most expensive dragon. Oh, it's a random dragon. I should probably have played the failed dragon before I started doing that, huh? Are you supposed to backseat? No. I would prefer to just vibe with it all. Also, like, I'm not in any danger of dying here, right? So I'm just trying stuff out. If you have big things you want to tell people about mechanically, I'd I think it would be cool for people to hear about that stuff. But in terms of, like, me shooting the volcano with my dragon, that's, like... Yeah. We've worked that out. All right. Oh, it just immediately goes next. Okay, who are we fighting now? Vampire Unleashed. Attack Morph. Must be dragged over another vampire card to play. Remove said card from play. If this card kills a card, Undying is added to its type. The damage is also added to this card's HP up to its initial HP. 17 damage. I like the lightning. The, the shoot. This one. The scale crown dragon. That seems awesome. I think my plan is to cast the scale crown dragon and then just assume I win. It worked last time. Soul collector. Every time a card dies, you get seven mana. What if cards don't die? Also, I kind of hate Taurus dragon. Taurus dragon seems to struggle to actually 
hit anything ever. <laughs> it's been an issue. That's a cool movement pattern. What? Luminous Wraith. Cross. 10 mana on kill, 5 damage. Well, holy moly. But it has like 0 health. I do feel a little bit lonely without the volcano. I kind of miss it. Lesser vampire. This card eliminates another. Undying is added to its type. The attack damage is also added to this card's health. Up to its initial HP. Six damage. Gonna pretend I understand what that means. All right, uh, I have 45 mana. Yeah, it's really interesting. It's like the turn that you get to play something, it does a lot, and then the rest of the time, your stuff doesn't necessarily do very much. Because it only gets to move or attack. You can like control space, but you can always move away from it. What? What are you? What are you doing? <laughs> what is this nonsense? All right. Do your thing. You make the gold dragon your king. Oh, this one? I guess so. Red Reaper. Single move. I should go kill the soul collector, probably. It's actually so rude. Swift resurrection. Can move after being resurrected. 20 mana on kill. 20, 21 damage. A lot of damage. Quite a lot of damage. It's so miserable. This piece has never attacked anything. <laughs> it just stands around feeling bad. Oh, can this never actually get on the other diagonal? This can never get on the other diagonal. It's like a bishop. I have control of a color complex. And the AI, like, understands that I have control of the color complex. The AI doesn't seem like it necessarily plays perfectly. But it, like, plays pretty good. Random dragons from my hand. Okay. 
Can you only summon next to your king? Yes, that is correct. They're going to have so much mana. Like, wow. Oh, what if they just shoot me for eight damage? I would just lose. I didn't think I didn't think about that. I'm sure they won't do that. That would be mean. <laughs> I'm on crystal, they'd have to hit me for more than eight. Resurrect an undying card to an adjacent What? <laughs> oh, these can move. Oh, that's rude. Okay, alright. Things are happening. I actually somehow cannot kill that. I don't understand how this is possible, but I uh, cannot kill that. Oh, they can't... They can't move and stay on the same color complex. Ooh, they're going to hit this, I just realized. Okay, so a variety of things are happening. Dream drink zigzags. Like so. All right. Can the dream drake? Can the dream dragon attack zigzag and straight line? That seems rather strong. This one. It can change its ability. But when it changes its ability, does it end its turn? Like it can only do one thing every turn. Change movement. Yeah, that takes its full turn to change. So that is the cost. <laughs> so clever. However, what if, in the theory, I ran all my pieces at them. Feels actually better to have 30 cards on my deck. Perhaps.
It's next in a straight line. This shoots in a zigzag. Okay. Just trying to get away. No hope. No chance. I'm too powerful. Ah! Oh! My dragon! Oh, shut. I thought that dealt six, honestly. <laughs> that dealt a lot more than six. All right. That's two out of the five. Two out of the five done. Next, we are against the Great Oak Spider, who is running directly at me. Wait. Great Oak Spider, you gotta chill out. You gotta relax. This is hit for a 13, and it regens on Swamp. All right. Uh, I need to run to the bathroom real quick. I'll be right back. Oh, having fun though. BRB. Oops. Having mother here is going great so far. She has <laughs> been here for 30 minutes and decided to kick all of my cans of soda over and not tell me. So I just opened a can of soda coming down the stairs and <laughs> soda actually <laughs> exploded everywhere. I just cleaned some of it off the walls <laughs> on the floor. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> um, all right, you're right that my time is running out, so let's, uh, let's get into this. I don't really know how I'm meant to play this. There's like an insect king running at me. And I have still not worked out how to make my king ever do anything, so... That kind of makes it awkward. Does my mother love cat girls too? I think everyone loves cat girls, right? 
if this is the same deck that I fought against in the other thing, it kind of can't do anything other than play this, though, is my memory. So maybe that's okay. Can any unit be declared a king? Well, I didn't vote for him. Oh my god, look at that! Hello! Suddenly I have a dragon on the board. We gotta get rid of this shooter. This shooty shoot. Um... I might just play this in the way. Let's... Jump smooth. Let's move here, here. Shoot in a zigzag path here. Garden there. I've realized, like dragons can only kind of control half of the squares on the board, huh? This seems like a problem. Okay, why didn't it attack my... Oh, because it would have, like, died or something. It wouldn't have. Uh, it would have been fine. I don't understand why it didn't attack my thing. My garden. Fifty-four for that. Sure. Oh, that's their garden. I've worked out why they didn't kill it now. Yeah, my cards move in such weird ways. Could I have killed the king there? I feel like my units can't even, like, move to where the king is. Oh, what's the goal of the game? Is <laughs> You are answering a question. I understand now. Yes, the goal of the game is to kill the enemy unit that is in gold. But if I moved here and here and put something in the way there, Wait, but I can shoot that, right? How do these move? They jump. Oh, so they also jump. So this can never, ever attack that. That's kind of funny. Oh, I haven't actually stopped it from leaving. Well, I tried. How do the tiles affect the gameplay? They interact with abilities. So, um, some units have regen, but only if they're on a certain terrain. Some units deal more damage if they're on a certain terrain. That's the general vibe. As I understand it. Oop. I feel like I'm winning.
Also, cards can like change what terrain is, so I can turn that into crystal, for example, which I really shouldn't have done because now it reduces how much damage the enemy takes every time I attack it. Oh, nice, I have hit it for zero. All right, <laughs> twice. <laughs> So maybe not my uh, smartest choice. Hey, Voxy. A more disreputable hive of villainy. I've never known. Wait, this can deal 20 damage to things on crystal? Is that because it's astral type? No. I'm not sure why that is. We are playing some Dark Duel. This is a browser-based card chess game. We are the dragons, because I was told the volcano wasn't good. The volcano seemed sweet. It also seemed legitimately not as good as the dragons, so that's fair. And we're playing a game mode where we have to win five fights in a row, and if we do, we get five boosters. Five boosties. It always attacks enemies on crystal. I don't know. I thought how that worked was that it attacked something and kind of like how the cursor, I really like that. See how the cursor like highlights tiles and they slowly unhighlight. Anyway, I, I thought that it attacked something, dealt 20 damage to it, and then turned the tile crystal. That's what I thought was going on, but perhaps that is not what's going on. The Chimera moves in a straight line of four, has attack power 18. His 46 health. Let's make a garden. And, like, move there, perhaps. Hey, London! Where is Escondido? I don't know. Fight me, Jorbs, I dare you. I'm not sure my deck is quite set for PvP yet. What I mean when I say that is, I think my deck is, <laughs> is just not set for PvP at the moment. I'm being chased. I want something that can move in a straight line. That seems better. Uh, I could use this. That kills some stuff. Including my own thing, but that's okay. I prefer being able to do things with my king in PvP. Yeah. Yeah, it does. I do kind of get the vibe. Heal all cards by seven that are within the square of width. Five tiles center of this card. I don't know if that has... um. Well, it's not friendly fire, I guess it's enemy fire, but I don't know if that has enemy fire or not. Your king is on the front line 24-7 and shirtless. As long as it's all consensual. Attack power 15, zigzag. Can I play this somewhere or can I attack that? I can play it here. Okay. Hey Dan, how are you? I 
Boxy is awesome, by the way. If you are looking for an awesome content creator to follow and watch, I recommend Voxy. If you are looking for something else, maybe not Voxy, though. If you're looking for a car, for example, I would recommend... Yeah. But maybe you're looking for a good content creator. Who knows? <laughs> um... Just kind of vibing here. What is this even an attack for? 18? That's a big number. What about a Voxy wagon? I would have to check with Voxy. Ooh. Well, that hits kind of hard. I'm kind of a bit surrounded here. Um, but it only moves single, and my things are pretty nimble. So, like, I could move this over here and jump this out here, and probably we're fine. Throw down another garden. Oh. Was that a spell to do that? I think that was a spell that let them do that. Straight line four. Let's switch to straight line here. Zigzag is great, I'm sure, but I'm having some trouble <laughs> making use of it. This is the closest fight so far. I think my dragons will win for me, though. I wonder how many more pieces they have. They have so many pieces. All right. I still have another one of these. Game over. Why is there a small backwards jorbs on the top left? You mean the large backwards jorbs on the top right? A lot of people wonder that. You're definitely not the first person to wonder. Uh, wait, straight line can go diagonally? Wait, this is so much stronger than zigzag. How many cards do they have? Is there a way to see how many cards they have in hand? <gasps> oh no! I think I might be dead. I did not realize that that had that move. That seems pretty bad for me, to be totally honest. From Desolator Mage. Hmm. I'm dead. The text for 18. No! It means I can change my deck though. Oh. Uh, 
Uh, I would not like you to be my king anymore. What if legitimately any other thing that wasn't you was my king? Attack a card in a zigzag path up to length 5 for 20 damage. Changes adjacent. I think I want the shooty one. Uh, this one. And then also I want more stuff. What if I just like went through the entire card pool and clicked on something that looked sweet? What about this? Gives 50 mana to the player that kills this card. Eh, probably too slow. Your astral cards may move to an adjacent unoccupied square. Are all of my cards astral? That one's astral. The moon ones are astral. What if we make a moon deck? Deep Space Warrior. No. I want dragons. Dragons are more fun. But I think I am playing all of my dragons, basically. There's another Taurus dragon. I take this out, maybe. You play Alpha Dragon. If your king is a dragon, subtract 20 HP from all dragons you own. Heal your king for... Nope. Increase the movement attacks of all your dragons by two. Genuinely don't know what that means. We'll find out maybe. Maybe more um more spells. Is there a rule requiring my deck to be pure tribal? There is not. There is no such rule. There is no such army. I looked through all the spells. And I decided that, uh... Hmm. I didn't want them for some reason, but I don't remember why not. Right. Let's try again. Volcano time. There is no way for this to shoot the volcano now. Disaster. Flash is horrifically powerful. Which one's Flash? Oh wait, if I go up there it can shoot the volcano. Wait, it could just always shoot the volcano. I just have to move it there. What am I even talking about? Oh yeah, this fight's over already. Good fight. Here we go. <laughs> it may it may in fact be the case that Volcano is not the strongest king. Yeah, right after building my Volcano deck and being told it wasn't good, I played against two different AIs, which had Volcano Kings. Incidentally, though, neither of them were any good, so... <sighs> 
Like, they were very clearly very bad both times. How do I storm? Why isn't this working? Help me out. Why can't I play that? Did they do something that stops me from playing an attack? Did I just click the button too many times during their turn? Did I disconnect? Maybe. Oh, yeah, I think I might have disconnected. Rip. Hold on. I want, like, a spell that moves my thing. Move. Your astral cards let me move to an adjacent unoccupied square. Is that just an ability it can use every turn? Every turn. I could make the astral dragon my king. And play that. Maybe two. You guys, like, not bad at all. It took me about 30 minutes, maybe, to feel like I understood what was going on. It can be a little bit difficult to see all of the things that have happened, maybe. But it's not bad at all. What if I simply moved this here and then put an astral fissure there? And then, like, next turn I put something on the other side of the volcano and they just can't make a unit. Ever. That doesn't do what I thought it would do. It does, Cody, yeah. All right, I won. Seems like standing next to the volcano should be bad, and yet here we are. It creates a wormhole. Your astral cards may move to an adjacent unoccupied square. Oh, I get it now. Okay, understood. This volcano is not having a good time. Oh, I didn't realize it had taken its turn. It did not take it very long. Alright. Vampire Unleashed. Volcano always wins. 
love that for him. Can I just like hit them a lot until I win? Is that basically the play here? I'm just gonna choose to believe that my dragon is strong enough. It does deal more damage to things on crystal. Or maybe the sh maybe the crystal is only relevant for attacks and not shoots or something. But it says minus 15 and then it's minus 17. I don't know. It's a bit curious. Ooh, I like that didn't take very long to grow. How far can it shoot? Decaying Mummy. Changes all adjacent tiles to Oasis, activates on Resurrection. I still haven't worked out why they eat why they eat their friends. I just don't get it. <laughs> why do you eat your friends? <laughs> I guess that was the place it could go. Oh, it's just a taste thing? That's cool, I guess. It can shoot to jump paths, but it moves in a straight line. What a powerful beast. It's gonna jump there, probably. Let's put that there. Shoot. Uh, they'll tend to everything and shoot. GG. All right. The Great Oak Spider is back. Oh, my turn one is very bad. That's too bad. This moves in straight lines. Ah, there's another one! <laughs> Is that card just really strong, or like... That card seems kind of strong. My turn seems genuinely, like... I don't know. I understand now why you want to have lots of mana cards in your deck, because not having mana cards seems like a bad choice. I've used Swift to get an attack in. I've taken 18. I've used Swift again. That's two turn changes. What do I even, like, what? This is 51 health. Put that there. They can hit it a bit, I don't mind. How do I see the count on this? Four. 
four now, I think. Count not showing is a bug. Gotcha. I feel like it's always one turn less than I expect it to be somehow. Well, that's not a dead job. It's now dead. Must have been. Thanks for three months. Appreciate it. You can't have two kings, that's like having two popes. We could totally have. We could have so many popes, oh my god. I have the dragon egg anymore? Looks like no. Maybe I should have um fought for more than half a second before making a move there. Having things that have 51 health and don't do anything and cost zero mana just seems kind of strong. Like, enjoy hitting my thing that has 51 health over and over again. Enemy friend. So if you play 20 cards, you'll run out of cards faster than if you play 30 cards, but you'll have a much more consistent start to your deck. Makes sense. Frog and Toad, thanks for the 30 months. Appreciate it. I used Swift to hide in the corner more. That is kind of sad. Kind of sad for them. <laughs> dealt zero. Let that be a lesson to you. The Desire's Guardian seems like a decent king. All oh, this one? Yes, I think it is a pretty good card. That is my impression of it. I don't think they're getting out of this one. Victory! Um. King does not get double HP or anything. 
Chimera. This is one I lost to last time, right? They just sort of made a lot of stuff and then killed me. Seemed kind of rude. Does 15 health? That attacks for 18. So it will die exactly. Huh. Maybe that wasn't a very good choice by me. Wait, it didn't die. Wait, why didn't it? But now it's dead. <laughs> I'm confused. Uh, what if... Random dragon is summoned from hand. That does sound kind of strong. Let's just like run away for a second. I think I outscale. I could have put it here and killed that maybe. Almost. It was on the crystal, that is true. But I thought I was counting that. Because it has 15, then at end turn it goes to 13, and then the crystal is protecting 5. But it gets attacked for 18, so it should die. I think. You can hit me if you want. I'll allow it. Yeah, that's what I thought. Ah. All right. I will shoot you. I'll move you here. Play an egg, maybe? Egg could be good. This makes mana? Ooh. Probably way too slow. they placed as a healer and it healed my garden for two. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> Got it. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Actually very funny. Does charm only work against a Jason? Yeah. Just go ahead and deal zero there. There should be three on this. I think it works at the end of my at the end of their turn. It works pretty soon. Unless this calls it. Nope. Okay, maybe one more turn then. Play another dragon somehow. It's like now. Attacks all cards within distance 2 for 8 damage. Eh? You do not have much stuff left anymore. Did this game get a huge graphics overhaul? Or are you thinking of a different game that I played that looked like this? This is my first time playing this game. Uh, 
How do I close in on you? Dragon heal card seems nice right about now. Nah. I don't think I need it. It makes my early turns so much worse to put cards like that in the deck. Seems to be the issue to me. They're kind of in a corner here, huh? Oh, they used to be. <laughs> okay, that's that's just rude. Could yell 20 to everything, including my own king, ending the game? Uh, I'll think about that. Maybe next turn. Hey, get back here. Oh my god, what if I lose? They got out of their corner. I didn't realize they could kill that. I still have one more dragon to play. What? That's a lot of damage. Uh, I might be dead though. They could move here, play something, and then hit me. They have 10 mana. Okay, I'm good. Yeah. I didn't mean to do that. Oops. <sighs> dragon Rally. Increase the movement attacks of all your dragons by two. So that means that when I attack something with a dragon by moving into it, I deal two more damage, I think. I am... Fairly confident that that's what that means. Uh, deal two extra damage. Attack power of 15. I don't know if that's what it did. Did I have to click an ability? Someday I will know everything. <gasps> they attacked their own thing. Bloodthirsty, but necessary to survive. I respect it. What if I charmed this and then I could heal my king with it? It vaguely makes sense to me. This costs 15, so I can charm it.
Does mine now? Hey, right. just a bit of chasing them around the board. I feel like the AI could forfeit in a situation like this, and I wouldn't mind. Sometimes it's weird to me when the AI forfeits in a game like this, but like, I mean, come on. <laughs> Is that my turn? Oh, I think it's my turn. I have killed them with their own thing. I think this is the final fight. They picked the dragon that I can't stand. Not what I was expecting. What does this do? I can't movement attack that. But if I move here, they can never attack me with their king. Also, they can never, ever attack this with their king. Final boss. It is the final boss. Yeah, things with jump movement are very bad at controlling squares, huh? Because they can only jump to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 total squares. Or in a 7 times 7 board. So they control fewer than a quarter of the squares in the game. Seems kind of, kind of not very good. Look at me. I am the dragon now. If I were to try jumping everywhere, I'd find that it isn't that easy. I believe that. I do not intend to try to jump everywhere. Um, thoughts on, yeah, I don't think I need to kill my own thing. Straight line two, attack power four. Flute guy increases movement attack when played by two. I don't know what that means. <laughs> By the way, I wish I knew what that meant, but I do not. Dragon Rally, increase the movement attacks of all your dragons by two. Yeah, I just don't know what that means. Attacks where I move a card are buffed by two, and what does it mean when played? When the Dragon Flute Man is played, all of the attacks of my dragons which are in play right now? Is that what it means? That 
poor, poor thing. I thought it would move there. That's a clever move. How's movement attack different from attack power? It's attacks like this specifically, where you move into an enemy to deal damage to them. So currently that's attack power 5, and when I play this, maybe it'll go to attack power 7. Ooh, that looks cool. Revives at the end of each turn. Side jump. Attack power 18. Revives at the end of each turn. Hello? Costs 40, so I can't charm it. Oh no. I've been outplayed. These single moves. Let's hunt these down. You over here. You can go here. You can go here. I get to shoot this next turn, which is probably good. Those kind of make sense, but also I am going to charm your unit now. But it doesn't really do much to have charmed the unit, huh? I want to stand there so you can't get out, probably. Go stand here so I can storm if you come over here. That seems okay. Go here. What does it attack for? 25? Oh, well, I guess it can get out then. Uh, attack for zero. Nice. <laughs> cool. Everything is now scorched earth. Also, I am getting shot. Oh, they're standing on crystal. So if I play this, does this now attack for 10? It does. Also, I won. I got 2,000 coins! We did it, chat. We did it. All right, uh, my mother's here to stay the weekend and she showed up halfway through my stream and I have barely even said hi to her, so I'm gonna go. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go be a more polite host than I have been. This has been awesome though. It's a fun game. Free to play, the monetization, just so that you know, I make sure that I'm explaining this anytime I look at a free to play game. The monetization is just buying packs which are used to unlock more cards. There are four different types of packs. There's also a subscription for two bucks a month, 800 coins, and more decks that you can apply or keep at once. But you can always just delete a deck and then like, you just have to click create deck to make a new one. How many can you have? I don't know. Maybe Catmeister can tell us in chat. <laughs> Why don't I give my mom attention? It's okay, she just wants a weekend away from it all, so she probably doesn't really want to hang out with me anyway. <laughs> I just have a guest room that's free, and she wanted a place that she could hang out. <laughs> Three decks with no sub, and a 15 with gotcha. Um, but yeah, like getting the packs doesn't seem hard. I just got 2,000 coins for doing those five games, which is enough for 10 packs, so... You know.
one pack. Boom. My pack. Death from below. Sunset Samurai. Seance. Deep Freeze. I wonder how many cards I haven't even seen yet. Queen of Thorns. Attack Barrow 1. Play one Queen of Thorns from your deck if there is an available adjacent tile. I want to play a deck that just like has lots of stuff and plays it all like that. That's cool. The gems are rarity, right? So green gem. I guess orange is like common. Can't sort by rarity, it doesn't look like. Uh, so there's red gems. Green. Remember when I said I should go? <laughs> I remember when I said I should go. Anyway. There are at least three different types of rarity. There is PvP, which I didn't play at all. I just spent the entire time playing single player, which was fun. Uh, I'll probably be here, be here tomorrow. I don't know. I might take the weekend off. We'll see. I haven't been streaming that much lately. Maybe I'll just play like a chill game. Who could say? I hope you've enjoyed the Dark Duel, though. Uh, exclamation mark Dark Duel should be the chatbot command for this if you want to check it out yourself. Again, free to play. It gave me how many packs? It gave me like 48 packs or something. 50 packs? It gave me 50 packs just when I made an account, so. 50 packs in a starter deck. I didn't even look at the starter deck. This was my starter deck. Now that I understand what the game is like, uh... I guess this deck is about playing deep space warriors and then hitting things with them. Straight line five. Oh, also this. Attack any card at distance two or less does 19 damage. Yeah, this is a lot easier. These are much better at like controlling space on the board than the dragons. The dragons were awkward. Anyway. I will see you all next time. GG, y'all. Thanks again to Voxy for the raid.